Hi everybody, welcome to Unbox With Us. I'm Jennifer and I'm here with my son Ryden. Hello! And today we're going to be unboxing the Hogwarts Wizard's Chest from Harry Potter. It has 876 pieces. And these are, it's a 20 year anniversary. And here's the box. Just want to give you a quick look of the, bo look of the box before we open it up. So, let's open it up quickly. And let you just see how many bags it comes with. So, this this box is. Yeah, box one. Five. Oh, there's two bag ones here. And there's some um, of these pieces. Bag three. There's bag two. And there's more of these. So there's two bags of these long pieces. Two bag ones. One bag two. One bag three. One small bag four. And a bag five. And the book, which will tell you how to put together and all the pieces now that it comes with. Now we need the book. Yes, so we won't know how to put it together. Yeah. So we will be putting this together and you'll see the final product soon. Just want to show you all the bags and how many bags it comes with. So we'll be right back. Sorry guys, I forgot to show you what's inside this book. There was at the very end Showing a picture of the castle. If you want to see, you could pause at any time. If you want to read anything or see it in more detail. And this page, oops, sorry, it is all the wizard cards you can collect, the tiles. So there are 16 co to collect and it, they are randomly packed in sets. So in my set, I know it's in bag four, I have one right here. That one is it. Yeah. Helga Hufflepuff right there. And you can see all the characters. So if you want to pause to see it. So these ones all come in the Harry Potter sets. And these three come in the Fantastic Beast set. So it might be hard to collect because it says it's randomly put into sets. So that's it. So we'll be back with the completion of the chess set. Okay guys, before I start building the Lego set, I want to show you what came in bag one. There were actually two bag ones that came in the box. So I opened it up and these were all the pieces that came with it. And when I looked at the instruction, it also uses all these pieces that came in this bag, these two bags. There's no numbers on it, but it is it goes with the first bag. I'm going to build it and I'll show you what it looks like after I finish building bag one. All right. Okay, guys, this is completion of bag one. All the pieces. So it's the chessboard itself and the characters. It's so, so flat. Yes, well, like a chessboard. My son helped me build this. This is how the base should look. Okay, and that's what we want to just show you. And we're going to start bag two soon, and I'll show you the pieces that come from in bag two. All right, guys, here are the pieces from bag two. They're probably characters because I could see hats, swords, and all these pieces, but we'll see how they come out. We're going to build it, and I'll show you how they turn out. Here are the pieces from bag two that we built. They're little pawns. There you go, it has a hat, the two swords. These were really quick to build. I built them with my son here. These are like firefighter hats. Yeah, they do look like firefighter hats. And now on to bag three. Here's bag three and all the pieces that came inside. So it's pretty cool, like these, the, uh, the helmet piece. There you go. Oh. And the swords, these are all helmets. All the pieces all lined up. So these are all the, the characters like the queen, the rook, the bishop. So we're going to build it and I'll show you how they turn out. So let's go. All right, guys, here are the completed pieces from bag number three. We have Hermione and there's the king, queen, bishop, knight, and rooks. They're so, all in order too. Yeah, so if you want to just see, nice helmet. 
sword, a rook, a knight, And then we have the bishop. The bishop. The queen. The queen. And the king. And the king. And these and these three on the but on the other side. And these three but on the other side again. Yeah. Those two on the other side too. Okay. So, we'll start on bag number four, and it'll probably be exactly the same as bag two, which all the pawn pieces. But I'll open it up, lay out all the pieces just to show you, and we'll start building on bag number four. Here's bag four, guys. The exact same pieces as bag number two, but in white. So we're going to start building these right away, and we'll show you the end result. Here's bag five, same pieces as bag number three. We're going to build it right now, and then soon you're going to see the whole final project together. Let's go. All right, guys, here's the completed bag four and bag five together. And since they're the same as the black pieces, I put them together just to show you. Here are all the pawns. So eight pawns. Now the rook, just like the black one. The knight. Knight. Now the only thing I wish, I wish they used white for the pieces there. Yeah, I know. And the bishop, can you get me a bishop of the black one? See, even this piece is gray and even the black one. I am not sure why they didn't just go with the same color. But that's the bishop. The queen, same thing. There's a gray in there. And for the uh, same this is a gray. Yeah. And finally, the king. And I'll just show you quickly. All the extra pieces I've gotten. These were all the extra pieces. So, a couple of swords in there, some small pieces and wands, mm -hmm. all and there. I'm gonna set it up on the chessboard and show you how it all looks. And so, I'm really excited to see the final product. All right, guys, here's the final reveal the Harry Potter chess set. All the pieces look great. I'm very excited for this set. My son helped me build it. Um, some changes are these gray pieces that are showing. I really don't like that. Yeah, they should have used white, black. Yes, there are a lot, right, Ryden? Yeah. So we do have extra pieces of my own other set, so I'm probably going to switch those around so it's all one color. Um, let me show you the characters. There's Harry, Hermione, and Ron. All look great. There you go, let me show you Harry first. And Hermione. They all have their wands. And Ron. And the special edition, because it's a 20 year anniversary, Snape. Ah. There we go. Gold one. Okay, and it came with three wizard cards. I thought it was only one. It was in other bags as well. I have Helga, Gilroy, and Newt. Newt is from uh, Fantastic Beast. I never saw that movie yet. I'm gonna have to watch it. Um, as I'm putting together, uh, it didn't take too long, maybe about two hours. Uh, my son did help me, and because it's so easy to put together because all the pieces are basically the same. There's like 16 pawns and, and uh, four rooks to, to put together. So my son was able to help me do a lot of that putting together. Even the chessboard, that was quite easy to put together. So if you have a little one and you want to do it with them, this is actually a great project to do with them. It is repetitive if you're doing it by yourself, but I mean, the end results is great. I'm really glad to get this. Um, I did buy a display case for it, a plexiglass display case. I'll show you the pieces and then I'll put it together. So let me show you the pieces first. All right, guys, I'm back, and here it is. This is what I ordered from Wicked Brick, and it's a display case. Um, there's a, as you can see, it has this little sticker. I thought it will be painted on, but it's a sticker of the Harry Potter. Let me just show that quickly to you, close up. There you go. And all the pieces came taped. 
So to protect it from scratching, um, it costs about 76, 78, let's say $80, and then you have to pay for shipping Canadian. So if you want to order this set and you like it, just order from Wicked Bricks. We're going to put it together, show you the final product, and see how it looks. So I'm really excited to see how all of this with the Lego pieces look together. So we we'll be right back. Here's the display case from Wicked Bricks. Here it is again. Uh, let me tell you about how putting this thing together. It was actually very easy to put together. The instructions were really clear. You just need a flathead screwdriver. Um, if you look carefully, it comes with these square screws. I'll try to bring it up closer. It's a really big piece here. Uh, it comes with these square screws that holds it together. So square and the screw, sorry, the square pieces with the screws. And on the square pieces, I'll try to bring it a little closer. Be very careful in lifting it because it's only held by the top squares. The bottom is not held, so it's kind of flimsy. Let me see if you could see. Oh, I don't think I could bring it any closer. If you look at the squares, I'm sorry, I don't think you can see it. It has a logo of a, of the company, which is a brick. It's actually very nice quality. Um, the case is held together with screws, so it's not friction fit. So like I said, there's a little logo. It's really hard to see, but the logo looks like this. So make sure the logo is facing the right way. Um, unfortunately, the squares in the middle use the corner ones, so you could see hole on the side. Let me try to turn this around. Try not to scratch it. Can you see? There's a hole right there on those screws. So if only they didn't use the corner ones, it would have been perfect. I mean, maybe you're not picky about that. I am. Um, the inside, the base, let me just take the cover off very quickly. The base is made of two pieces. One is the bottom base and the second is on the top, which holds the, the chest board and all the figures. It is held by magnets, so you can see the magnets right here. Uh, it's actually really easy to put together. The, the one thing I didn't like was the big sticker. Can you see it right back there? The sticker was one big piece, so it's it'll be very careful to put it together. So I'm sorry if you see any bubbles. I wish they put the sticker on for us. Sorry for the reflection of the lights. There you go. See the sticker. Uh, so just be very gentle when lifting it. But it is awesome display. I mean, clean it up. You probably see my fingerprints all over it. I'll put the chessboard and pieces in to show you how they fit. Let me take this back down. Put it down carefully. Ooh. Here you go. First board fits nicely right there. Okay, let me get a little closer to show you. And the figures right here. Hairy. They're hairy. Oh, and see, they fit actually perfectly in. And oh, sorry, snape. Now all these pieces fit here, so you don't have to put it necessarily on the board to display. You could display it on the side. So, see, it's a really nice display. Keeps dust from it, which is great. The rook. Just make sure it fits nicely. Here's the knight. Ta-da, here it is the set in the case. Um, sorry I had to pause it because it was taking me too long to put the pieces in. I didn't want you to kind of watch me put the pieces in. Uh, it was a little difficult to put the pieces. Um, I'm not sure if you can see in the video, but it's kind of not flush with the grouse up all the way in. It's kind of floating a bit. The pieces didn't fit in perfectly. It did come with this plaque right here. It tells you how many pieces and the Lego number. And this is actually a really nice case. I have another case I ordered from them for my Millennium Falcon. So this was really easy to put together. Big fan of this. And if you like this 
you should get it. Um, thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. This is my first Lego building video I've ever done. So if you have any suggestions of what I could change, what I could do better, what you'd like to see more of, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to make those changes. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because we'll be doing more unboxings and doing more Lego sets or opening other toys. So thank you for watching my video. I'll see you next time. Bye.